G'day guys, I'm Harry from 4x4 Lifestyle. I've been getting uh, plenty of messages from people asking about the Darchi Eclipse 270 degree awning. So I figured instead of answering individual questions, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna answer all of them in one big video. And um, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the awning and uh, tell you everything you need to know about it if you're in the market for a 270 degree awning. Now, before we get into it, I just want to make it very clear, I'm in no way sponsored by Darchi at all. I, um, I'm purely just giving my honest opinion from over a year of, of good usage, and um, I figured I'd help anyone that's in the market, so this is purely just an unbiased review. Um, personally, I am very stoked with this awning. It is uh, for around the $1,000 mark. It's actually it's actually one of the cheaper 270 degree awnings that you can buy that is has the potential of freestanding. Not to mention, it's actually one of the biggest awnings on the market. And the reason being is because you've got the arms that fold out towards the back, but then you also have arms that fold out towards the front, which on most awnings, that isn't, a, that, that isn't there. So, what that does mean is it adds about 30 seconds extra to actually set the awning up. Personally, that's not an issue for me, 30 seconds, whatever, I'm at camp, I'm in relax mode, but for some people that might be a problem, fair enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the footage of me setting it up, but I'm gonna put a little clock that's actually recording the exact time that it's taking to set it up. All right, well, let's get into it, eh? Seriously, that quick. Honestly, these, these new 270 degree awnings, they're game changers. They make setting up camp that much quicker. Now, Darchi recommend to not leave it freestanding, but personally, I pretty much only leave it freestanding. Unless I'm uh, camped up for a couple nights, then I will drop the legs because it is unnecessary strain. If you've got the legs there and they're very easy to put down, why not? And uh, especially if the wind picks up, if the wind picks up, the legs are down. I don't want to risk snapping or breaking a very expensive awning. Um, but it does, you know, it, it, it takes a bit of wind for me to actually get worried. Um, a fair bit of wind, but once the legs are down and the, the ropes are on, no stress at all. These box tube alloy rafters are still lightweight, but very, very strong. They're connected to steel hardware, which holds it all in place. Also very, very strong. It's all very thick and just uh, quality stuff. Now look, I don't know when you're ever gonna need to do this, but this is a testament to how strong this awning is. Let me show you. Now I'm 85 kilos and I can hang my weight off of the bloody awning without the legs down. Unbelievable. Seriously strong. Now something I noticed straight away when buying a quality awning was the canvas. The canvas is just worlds above that those cheaper quality awnings. And by the way, those cheaper awnings, they have their places. Absolutely. I started off with them and I don't regret it at all. But you can definitely tell the difference. This, this stuff is tough and strong. The Daichi Eclipse awning has 320 GSM poly cotton grid ripstop canvas. Holy heck, it's a mouthful, but that is tough stuff. That's some, of the, that's some of the best stuff you can get. It's also got really good stitching. Everything's just quality about it. And personally, I love the color. Lots of people like gray, which is uh, fair enough. A lot of people like the sandy color, which is also great, personally. I'm a big fan of this color and I like the orange trimming. Comes into play a little bit for some people. Now, if you're wondering what these zippers here are for, they're actually for walls. So you can buy walls separately for every single face of the awning and you can actually create this massive big covered and protected area. Because of the 11.5 square meter coverage of just the awning itself, once you add the walls, there's just huge amounts of coverage and protection. Personally, I don't need the walls at the moment, 
but it's a great option to have if I do need that extra privacy or protection from the elements. Now look, an issue that I have found with the awning, and I, I'm going to go ahead and assume that most awnings do have a similar issue, even gazebos, rain. When it rains, water pools, it happens. There's not a lot you can do about it without putting guy ropes down and, uh, and pegs and all that sort of mumbo jumbo. Look, it's not that big of a deal, but that is something that I've found. Every single face collects water, and the only way around it is to put a rope through these little tabs, which are on every single face. It pulls it down like that, straight down to the ground, water just runs off, runs down the guy rope. So that's something that I've found, but there's not much you can do about that with pretty much most awnings. I, I dare say there'd probably be some where the uh, the arms are on a bit of an angle like that, which, which would definitely help, but even those big expensive awnings, I know I've seen firsthand, they still collect water. There's not much you can do about it without just putting ropes down. Now the awning comes with three telescopic legs permanently in the awning, but it also comes with three telescopic legs in a little bag and you can pop them in on the extra legs that don't have legs on them already, which means you can have legs on absolutely every single barb on the awning and uh, you can tie them down and you have a very, very, very sturdy awning. Um, personally, I don't carry those, those extra legs around with me. I hardly even use the three that are in the awning at the moment, so I don't really need the extra three. Now what I have done is I've actually put, on three of the, uh, the alloy tube rafters, I've put LED light strips. So essentially, as soon as I get to camp, all I have to do is fold out the awning, pop open the back of the cruiser, and I just flick one little switch, and uh, it essentially turns nighttime into daytime. Now look, overall she's a pretty heavy awning at sitting at 21.8 kilos. It's a lot of weight sitting on the side of your car. What that means is they need heavy duty mounts and I can tell you they definitely come with heavy duty mounts. They're more than adequate to carry that weight on the side of your car. I don't have them anymore. I used to use them but uh, now I uh, have the awning directly mounted to the Bush Company rooftop tent. But the mounts they come with are strong as heck you're not gonna have any problems there. There's one more thing I'd like to talk about with this awning. It's just, it's a bit of an issue that I've, it's my biggest problem with the awning actually. But what it does require is me packing up the awning. So let me just quickly do that. Again, I'll speed up the process. You're not gonna sit there for a minute and a half plus watching me bloody fold up an awning. So I'll speed it up and I'll put a little clock that's accurately telling you how, much, how long it takes to, um, to pack it up. All right, better get into it. Now, here's my issue. Let me, let me show you. It's a mission. The bag is just a little bit too small for the awning. It's such a bummer. It's a bit of a letdown, but again, it's the only issue the awning actually has. I've, I haven't found any other little problems that actually bug me. That is the only bloody thing, and it's it's a bummer. <laughs> but um, and it's it's not a big fix. All they need to do is just make the bag just that little bit bigger. You see plenty of brands that make their bags oversized and that is exactly the way that you should be doing it. Luckily enough, the zippers are strong as heck so they can handle the extra bloody tension but whew, to work out. All right guys, that's probably enough out of me for now. Um, if, if this video has helped you in any way, if you're in the market for a 270 degree awning and this has given you a better idea on the Darchi, absolutely leave a comment below. If you've got any questions, also ask in the comments and look, if you have this awning and you've got your own personal experiences and you want to share them, absolutely leave them in the comments. I'm sure anyone on the, in the market for one of these awnings definitely wants to see real world advice. And um, yeah, 100% leave those comments below. I reckon that's great. Personally, I would recommend this awning to anyone. 
Um, it is awesome and it's just proper good quality. Oh well, happy days. I'll um, probably leave you to it. I'm gonna fold it back out now and uh, probably set up camp, maybe crack a cold one. Cheers for watching guys.